The patient reported outcome measures actually started being utilized way back in 1999. At that time, it was a little bit bulky in terms of our data collection. Our patients were only getting measures at admission and at discharge, but it allowed us to quantify, does our treatment work? Now keep in mind, during that time, it was all based on paper and pencil. So our patients were literally taking these packets, filling them out, they might have sat around for a little bit, and then it was manually entered in through our outcomes office. After we started amassing our data through the residential treatment programs, in 2006, we were presented with a really interesting opportunity. Rogers was featured in a symposium style at the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, where it was all of Rogers' data that was featured on there. So we presented data on the eating disorder program, uh, the OCD center, as well as our child and adolescent center, and it started propelling Rogers on a more national stage, where this quote-unquote little hospital in the woods became a major player in collecting patient reported outcome measures and doing treatment. So people in the field started looking at us kind of, man, they've got a pretty large data set of these measures. They're really understanding what the efficacy of their treatment is. From 2006 all the way to 2012, we started ramping up some of our data collection efforts. In 2012, we started partnering with a professor at University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee, uh, where we built a custom data capture system and that allowed us to utilize that outcome measures in real time. So now those paper packets were not sitting away, we were utilizing it as soon as that patient took those measures and incorporating those in our care. From there on out, the program just started expanding exponentially. So all our me measures were captured electronically, we had the ability to spread that out through all of our systems. So no longer were we only confined to our residential programs, but we started including our partial hospitalization, our intensive outpatient, and then more recently we were in our inpatient units. In 2015, as we started implementing our, our Cerner electronic health record, that allowed us to take all the information through the health record, combine it with our patient report outcome measures, and then we have developed a very broad and robust picture of what a patient looks like through multiple points throughout their treatment. Uh, through this, this allowed us to understand how programs are being delivered, what is the care that's being delivered, what is the efficacy of that care, and how do we learn from other treatment programs to basically increase the quality of our care throughout the organization.